If it's happened anywhere in the world, it's happened in New York City. This city has more people, more traffic, more congestion, more situations that challenge wireless infrastructure than any other city in the world. Companies like Verizon Wireless are leveraging all of the assets that they represent and have uh, and all of the technology from vendors like Alcatel Lucent to provide the service that end users are coming to expect and rely upon. They're using small cells basically in three different ways. Uh, one way we're all familiar with, they have a uh, unit that's on the roof here that provides uh, time of day coverage in a very congested area of New York. So here we're on the, on the roof of our hub location. This is one of our small cells over here that we have deployed throughout the city. This is basically a self-contained radio unit that has its own router. We can deploy these without needing all of the extra hub equipment that we have downstairs. Also on this roof we have a traditional macro site so you can see the difference in size between an MCO and a traditional RRH. Here's more of a, a traditional macro setting. We, uh, we have our remote radio head units here uh, with all of our bands that we support, 700, AWS, uh, uh, 800, 1900, and then attached to our much larger antennas. Uh, we have two sectors here actually uh, providing macro coverage to this area. So you can see it takes a lot more um, equipment and infrastructure to build one of our traditional macros compared to one of our small cells. They're using banks of our, our radio small cell configuration that doesn't have baseband in it to drive those dash systems. Uh, and then those radios connect into baseband processing shelves that are stacked up in offices like this. That's probably their most dominant configuration in the New York environment. But they can also take that radio unit and they could put it on a pole and they could connect it back with CIPRI uh, common public radio interface to baseband that would be in a location like this. But from their perspective, the most cost-effective way to deploy this network uh, is we're using the distributed antenna systems that serve uh, a broad area, and in some cases, smaller versions of that to support uh, major buildings like the Empire State Building, for instance. And then in this case, they're actually using uh, a, a Metrocell Outdoor that has the baseband capability, which you could connect backhaul back to New Jersey if you wanted to yep. uh, over a variety of different, any, any way you can carry IP basically. Over here you see this uh, gray box which houses the remote units so that's providing the RF to our customers here locally on the field and it feeds up to the top you see a uh, small omni stick antenna so that is essentially our ODAS solution getting very very close to our customers and providing really good coverage in a, in a very localized hotspot area. That's what most people think of when they think of small cells. But in this environment, there's a lot of issues associated with where you can locate equipment, how you connect equipment to uh, the antennas and the regulations that the city has on whether, those, uh, whether that equipment can be visible and whatnot. So, so we saw two other configurations, and these are even more common in terms of the deployment here in the city. These are our low power radios, and we also have some high power radios. Uh, the good thing about the low power radios is that they have a smaller form factor compared to the high power radios. They take a lot less power, and we need a lot less uh, components to, uh, to build out the system. From these units, we pretty much just have our RF cable up, around, and into these head end units and then the head end units go straight out to the field and feed to a remote unit that has a omni antenna and providing a service much closer to the customers than we would be able to do uh, with a, you know, traditional macro systems. In this room alone, it is all ODAS, but in this hub itself, we do have some in-buildings. We saw another uh, way of handling the same kind of environment where they're taking the baseband processing capability and interfacing it directly to another vendor's distributed antenna system. So instead of driving the, or providing the RF input directly into a uh, distributed antenna system, which is fairly conventional, there's an interface that Alcatel Lucent developed with TE Connectivity that lets our baseband go directly into their distributed antenna system. So we saw that here too. In another room in this location, we have our baseband radio units, which feed over to uh, these DAS head ends which are feeding a few hotels uh, in downtown New York. So from here we can pretty much have our RF 
location, send it over fiber to the, the neutral host at those hotels and uh, be able to provide service. So over there, all we have to do is feed into their head end station. So pretty much all of our equipment's here. We're just feeding the signal right over to the hotels. We're here in the basement of the Empire State Building. And what's different from what we were looking at before over in the Verizon office and what you're seeing here is that the Empire State Building is a network in and of itself. So they have a hub facility that is just serving the building. Right? They're using the Alcatel Lucent small cell technology here to do something similar to what they were doing in their other location, only this, in this case, it's an indoor distributed antenna system as opposed to an outdoor antenna system. So these MROs, or Metro Radio Outdoor, are actually driving an indoor DAS, or distributed antenna system. Another thing that's different here from what you saw at the other location is that this is the radio portion of an E-Node B, LTE base station. This is the baseband processing, the electronics that handles all the digital uh, processing associated with setting up the connections. You didn't see this in the other location because it was in another room. But you did see on the roof of the other room what we call a metro cell outdoor, which combines the baseband processing with the radio. So if I have this plus this, that's equivalent to what we saw on the roof over at the Verizon facility.